on the issue of of, of um, paying um, um, or allowances for for teachers that are traveling, there's so much needs in this country. There are so many children that are not going to school because they can't afford it. So that is just another one, and it's something that we're prepared to take a look at. And if we can afford to pay it, I would happily do so. But we have others. We have schools that are in such a dire state of, of repairs. These are the things that we have to look at. It's not only the teachers, but also the children. Our children have lost probably a year and a half, and we have to be able to play catch up so that they can be able to get them ready to go to, to the next classroom or to, to, or to, or to high school or, or sixth form at the university. These are the things that should keep them away. How is it? Why is it that 50% of our children don't go to high school? And we need to ask our question, and we need to question that. Yes, it's the parent, yes, it's the government, but also the teachers. They also have to do their part. We are all in the Belize boat together. Well, we want them to have a comfortable seating on the Belize boat, but they also have to help us to be able to get the country growing so that then we can collect more taxes and to be able to give them even more. I would wish to double their salaries. I would wish to give them more, but we can't give what we don't have. And as to the issue of the vehicle, they have beat that to death. The point is that what we're doing right now, I'm saving the government money. If the government were to buy my vehicle for me, and if the government then to pay for buy, change my tires, pay to change the oil, pay to fix the vehicle, is going to cost a lot more than what I'm being given for, for um, as my um, um, as, as allowance. If you make them happy and, and want the government to buy me a vehicle, and so, that's fine by me. Mm -hmm. The thing is that I am a very active Prime Minister. I am on the road almost every single day. I do not stay in my hometown. I the previous Prime Minister for whatever reasons, most of the time he was in Belize City. I'm in the Toledo district, sorry, I'm in Istan Creek in Kaya. I'm all over seeing the work that we're doing, listening to the people, seeing what are the challenges that we have. And then if I have to call out and I say, guys, we, we have to, I went in such an area, this is happening. Mm -hmm. So I am active. I need a good vehicle to be able to to, to travel. And, and, and I understand what, what they say and um, yeah. I don't begrudge them with, with whatever um, um, they would like to say.